Morning folks. So with the CFX out and lots of people getting their hands and starting to play around with it, I thought it'd be interesting just to do a side-by-side -side comparison of a Profi Saber and a CFX Saber with the same sound spots by the same sound maker, just to give a sense of if they sound different or if they sound the same. So right here, I've got a Graphlux Shop replica with a Profi board installed. And here I've got my trusty Graphlex 2.0. I've had this Sabre since I started in the hobby. It's housed many different soundboards over the years as I've changed and upgraded it. Right now it's got the brand new CFX in it, and they're both in a New Hope configuration, as you can see. So I'm just going to demo the Dark Sabre font by Jesse Kirkbride of Kyberphonic, which is a very cool font. Big fan. If you don't have it downloaded, it is very interesting. It sounds great unlike anything else. So we'll boot up the Profi Saber. So there's your boot sound. It's already on the Dark Saber font, so I don't have to change anything. So we'll ignite it. So just the idea of sound. This Profi Saber has a 31 millimeter speaker I got from eBay. I have no idea who made it. It was super cheap. It works great. So there you have it. Sounds pretty cool. Um, so this Sabre, because it's a graphic shop replica, the pommel is invented. So what I've done here, if you can see, I've drilled some holes and the D-ring's on a, on a bit of a washer. So it's standed, it stood off a bit from the bottom of the Sabre. So there's sound venting under the D-ring. So there's some sound venting, it's not ideal. It definitely sounds a bit muffled, but uh, there it is. The 31 millimeter speaker does compensate quite a bit because it's very loud. And the Profi board, of course, is also really loud. So loud, in fact, you gotta be careful because you can often blow up speakers. So, Graphlex 2.0, CFX installed, vented pommel with a TCS 28 millimeter wow speaker. Uh, so, let me just... So there's ignition. So right away, the CFX has got a much higher emphasis on the swings in hybrid modes. So again, this is in hybrid mode, so it matches exactly what the coffee board's doing. Uh, then the sort of mixed pairs that make up the hum, right? So if I do this slow motions, it's much quieter and less prominent than the profi board, right? But then if you go hard, those swings come out, right? And there's much less of that sort of slow motion noise coming through. Now, I don't remember how to do force effects on the CFX yet, so you'll have to bear with me here. Still learning all the features. So, um, definitely different mix, right? So when Irv did smooth swing, he mixed, he, you know, the parameters are all there, you can tune it, but it feels like he emphasized the swings over the mixed pairs. So again, if we go back into this saber, so there's lots more of that slow motion mixing of the swing pairs with the hum. It's much more prominent, right? So it's kind of a taste thing. And I'm pretty sure we could get this profi board tuned to match the CFX, right? Because it's all tunable. And to Herb's credit, the CFX settings and the profi settings map pretty close together. So as part of this post, I'm going to put all the settings in here and show how they relate to each other so you can try and tune your savers to sound similar. So 
So, so there you have it with this font in particular. It feels like the swings are much more prominent on the CFX than the mixed hum pairs that make up the smooth swing algorithm are much quieter and de-emphasized in the CFX. Both sabers sound great. It's just a matter of which you prefer and the preference. Um, big credit to Irv for adopting smooth swing as part of CFX, furthering an open source standard, which is great. It allows people like me who, you know, live on profit board most of the time to reap the benefits of all of the sound font makers out there waiting for CFX. Now it's, you know, we're going to have lots of sound font options beyond what the other great stuff that's already been put out by people like Jesse of Caberphonic and of course, Keith Sith, who was one of the first to get out in front of the profit board and put out some great fonts. So we'll do one more test just to test a different sound font. So we'll go into the sound font menu on the CFX. That booted it, one second. Sound bank selection. There we go. Uh, maybe I should practice. Audio player. There we go. Let's do this. So this is Jesse Kirkbride's A New Hope training font. So let's go into the profi board and change its font as well. There we go. So we're both on Jesse Kirkbride's A New Hope training font. So again, we'll start with CFX. So in the background, you can kind of hear the, the sort of Falcon's computer beeping around in there. It's kind of a cool little hum mix that he's got in this font. Oh, I this, I've got the volume up too high and it's clit triggering clashes. So you see this, the slow motion's there, but it's very quiet. But then the swings come out really nicely. Shop Profi Saber. Saber, you've got a separate drag sound, which I just triggered there with putting the saber down. And of course, effects are. Kid, I've flown from one side of the galaxy to the other. I've seen so a lot of strange stuff, but I've never seen anything to make me believe there's one all the eyes in the seaboard. I'm trusting everything. There's no mystery unless you feel it controls my destiny. There we go. So, once again, the story is very much the same. Swings sound very similar. They fade in and out really nicely. There's not a lot of. Uh, you know, extraneous sound when you slow down again, so they both fade out really well. But on the profi board, by default, the smooth swing is much more emphasized. You get a lot more of that slow motion hum changes across your motions, and the swings are blended into that. Whereas on CFX, it seems like the emphasis is on a much quieter hum and smooth swing pair with a more aggressive swing sound. Both sound great, and I hope this video was really helpful. Like I said in the description, I'll put the settings for each font and for each board and see how they relate so you can tune things to your preference. I hope this was helpful.